guys, welcome back to a new video. Before I get into today's video, I really want to sit down and talk to you a little bit about the coronavirus and how this pandemic is really affecting us all. As a pharmacist and as a healthcare professional, I really feel compelled to give you my thoughts about the situation. Even though the coronavirus is a pandemic and pandemics are always very scary, what scares me the most are people's behavior around the situation. Now for healthy patients that might contract the virus, you might get common cold-like symptoms that might knock you out for a couple of days, what really poses a risk with this virus are people that are high risk, those patients that have cancer, that are undergoing therapy, patients with autoimmune diseases that need to take medication to suppress their immunity, and of course the elderly. What we as a nation are trying to do is to prevent the widespread of this disease by limiting social gatherings for the purpose of those high risk individuals where the mortality rate really truly increases. I hope everyone stays safe during this pandemic. I hope you all show kindness and patience to each other. And for you healthcare professionals, please be more patient, especially during these busy times. Speaking from a pharmacist standpoint, it is extremely busy during this time. I know at my pharmacy, our script count has gone up by 50%. So please show more patience. We are trying our best. So everyone just be safe, be kind, and be patient to each other. Now with that said, let's get into today's video. Tilbury recently came out with a new collection called the Eye Color Magic that comprises of four eyeshadow palettes as well as four unique eyeliners. I just received the order that I placed on charlottetilbury.com and I ended up choosing three out of the four eyeshadow palettes as well as the liners. Now the three that I chose are the Mesmerizing Maroon as well as the Super Blue and the Green Lights. Both the eyeshadow palettes as well as the eyeliners together I think having the eyeliners with the palettes is really what kind of got me loving this collection more than anything at all. I really love how one side of the eyeliner is metallic and the other side is matte. Now in the pictures online, the looks look really stunning for this collection, so I really hope they look as stunning in reality, but we'll see. Now I really do want to try all three of these looks, so I think I'm going to do a three series video. So for the next three videos, I will be trying each and every single one of these looks and showing you guys what they really look like on. Let's get all of these out of their wrappers that I have not opened these yet. So let's see. I think for today's look, I am going to start with the green one. Now this one is in green lights. I think I'm going to try this one first for this video, but don't worry, the next two videos will be the other two palettes. Even though this collection is limited edition with Charlotte Tilbury, really, I feel that she repeats a lot of her looks. Like with this green palette, she did release it end of last year, I believe. Now I did not purchase this palette just because this palette isn't something that I would normally go for. But when I saw that eyeliner and especially the teal matte color and how well it went with all of these colors, I definitely had to get it. So with this video, I think I'm gonna try this whole entire palette. I will be doing some swatches, so I am going to insert some swatches for you guys of both the eyeshadow palette as well as the eyeliner. Um, so just swatching this real quick right now. I definitely feel that these are a different formula and I have read that they are. They are much creamier than they usually are. I do own two eyeshadow palettes in the quad formulation, um, and these ones definitely are a lot more creamier. Very pigmented, of course, which I love. So let's zoom you guys in and let's try this palette out. We are going to begin with the Green Lights palette. So first off, I'm going to pick up this gold shade. I really love Charlotte Tilbury makeup. They're so easy to apply. You kind of go, clockwise with this palette. So let's start off with this gold shade. Oh, this gold is stunning. I really love how pigmented it is. Let's go right into the next shade, which is this green shade. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this into my crease. Okay, immediately I am loving that gold and green shade. Look at how beautiful they blend together. 
All right, let's go in to this darker green shade. And I am going to keep this on my outer corner and just pat it right in. These aren't normally the colors that I go for. I'm glad I did. Very unique, very beautiful. I'm going to pick up some of that same color and just shade it underneath my waterline. Last, and this is my favorite part with these kind of palettes, I just pick up that last color and I'm just going to pat this one on the outer corner, kind of in the middle where that gold and darker green is. Usually I put this kind of color right in the front, uh, but I really love that gold. So we're just gonna pat it in right here. Ooh, that shimmer. This is really so pretty. Now for the eyeliner, I feel that this is what's going to make this look look amazing. Look at this teal color. I know it's supposed to be green, but really it's more of a teal type of color. Ooh, this is creamy. So that's a matte shade. And then the other side has a metallic. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put this teal color and make a wing with it. And then using this metallic, I'm gonna shade that into my waterline. Normally I would use my quick flake because it makes doing eyeliner so much easier, but I do have a trick when using a liner like this one. Oh yes, this, this teal color and the green shade and the eyeshadow, they're like a match made in heaven. Now once I reach this part to kind of do a flick, what Charlotte Tilbury usually does is she puts a dot here and then connects it all. Some other people kind of just go up and then just kind of connect it that way. But something else that you can try is before the eyeliner dries up, just get like a small brush like this one and drag that eyeliner, kind of shade it in. This kind of shows you where that line needs to be, and then you can just drag it up and complete that cat eye look. Now I have to say, I wish this eyeliner was more creamy. I feel that it would have made the step so much easier. There's both liners and I really am loving that teal color. So let's go ahead and use the metallic shade and I'm just gonna put that into my waterline. Also added some of Legendary Lashes 2 Mascara by Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the final look. I think it looks absolutely stunning. I love these colors, that gold with the green, and then that teal eyeliner just tops it off. This is why I got this palette to begin with, because when this came out as a standalone, I did not even think that I would get this, but with that teal eyeliner, it's perfection. I know Charlotte Tilbury says that if you have hazel eyes, this will really make your eyes pop, but even with brown eyes, I feel that it looks so beautiful. I really love the shades. I love how creamy it is. This new formula is to to die for it's so perfect I love how these colors kind of really blend so well together and the eyeliner if you get this palette you must get the eyeliner that goes with it they just look so stunning together now the eyeshadow palette I really don't have anything bad to say about it I really love all the colors the consistency the new formula is great but for the eyeliner I love the color I love the fact that it has a matte and a metallic shade love those two contrasting colors but the only thing is I wish it was just a little bit more creamier it would have made creating this v-line flick so much easier I feel that with some people especially if you're ready have 
have a hard time doing a v-line flick you are going to have a hard time with this one uh, but again just keep your uh, pencil sharpened i feel that that makes it a lot easier but I do wish that it just had more of a creamier consistency, but otherwise the color and how it matches this eye look is so beautiful. So this is the first video of this series. Over the next two videos, I will be using the other two palettes to go ahead and create looks much like this one. I really can't wait to try the other palettes out. If anything, this one was amazing. I can't wait to try the maroon and the blue one. Unfortunately, I didn't get the copper one. I feel that those kind of colors really make me look tired but if you guys really want to see that look as well I will go ahead and purchase it and review it for you guys and that's it for today's look and the first video out of the three I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos thank you guys so much for watching stay safe and I will see you in my next video